Hey, welcome back to News Routine this morning. Special guest in the studio, Kenny Red, uh, and we're talking about a book you just you, you wrote, and, and he's telling me some information about this Mr. Valentine Jr. Right. Just so many things that he created in this community that right. I had no idea, like the mm -hmm. like the ship that I've jumped off many times right. there at Shipwreck. Val, Vincent e. Valentine Jr. was the creative genius at Miracle Strip Amusement Park. He had an amazing career, and and today I came to. Uh, to, to discuss it and to let the audience know that on the February 28th at 7 p.m. at the Bay County Public Library, I'll be giving a lecture on Mr. Valentine's career, which was very amazing indeed. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, when did he, when did he first come When he first to came to Panama City in 1964, uh, he purchased a failing zoo that was next door to Miracle Strip Amusement Park. And although he'd never owned a zoo before in his life, he knew that if he added a little creative magic to mm -hmm. that zoo, he could make it succeed. And to make that happen, he built a thing called Jungle Land. Jungle Land was amazing. Yeah. It was this massive volcano with a sparkling waterfall, a, a smoke coming out the top. And of course, that was the front for the zoo. And it cost $100,000 to build Jungle Land in 1964. Well, yeah, that's a lot. A lot now. of money. That was yeah. a lot of money. And they recovered the cost in a single season in 100 days. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Yeah. And then he went on to, to repeat the process, uh, the same creative process at Miracle Strip Amusement Park, where he created the most memorable rides, the Abominable Snowman, uh, uh, Oh, this, this screen right here is an indicator of just how skilled he was. At the age of 15, he built this boat with his own hands. <laughs> and this is a drawing that he produced at the age of 15, piloting his boat on Long Island. Oh, my goodness. He's really highly creative, <laughs> and it happened early on in, in his life. 15 years old. 15 years old. It's amazing. And early, his first job uh, was in Florida as well, in Miami, where he was an animator for the Fleischer Brothers Studios, the folks that did the uh, Popeye and Olive Oil cartoons. Oh, yeah. Yes, and, and then, of course, he, he wound up going back to New York for a brief period of time, but eventually came back to Florida in Ocala, and in Silver Springs, he had, that's where his artistic and creative career really began in Florida, working for folks like Ross Allen and Tommy Bartlett. Mm -hmm. Eventually made his way to Panama City Beach, and, and, uh, and, and many people today are saddened by the loss of the, so many things that he created yeah. on Panama oh, City yeah. Beach. Uh -huh. It's a lot. It's a lot of history. Yeah. So again, uh, people getting to hear the, on, uh, uh, you're going to be at the Bay County Public Library. Bay County Public Library, Street. Tuesday the 28th, beginning at 7 p.m. Okay. Thank I you mean, very that much. That is awesome. That is awesome. There's so much it's history, pleasure. and I had no idea that he was so, and so many creative. Many people don't, it? so I think uh, the uh, members of your audience will find it very entertaining. Yeah. Oh, I bet they will. Thank yep. you. Thank you very much, Kenny. Appreciate that.